Alright people, welcome back. Another episode of Fake Card Friday. So, uh, you know, recently said Tellers won Worlds, of course, so... In honor of Worlds being over into Tellers winning, let's go ahead and look at a deck that previously won Worlds about two years ago, the best Worlds, and the only reason why it was the best Worlds is because in Vegas and I got the go. <laughs> but anyway, this person decided to go ahead and make a Fake Card for the Baby Dragons. Yes, the Baby Dragons, so of course recently. Uh, the, the main dragon rulers have been banned. They are locked up, but the uh, babies are at three, and that's great and all, but it's just you really can't do anything with the baby rulers now since the the big ba big daddy rulers are banned. So uh, this person decided to go ahead and create a fake card uh, to go with the baby rulers and make them useful. So uh, the creator said, I was thinking, now that the dragon rulers are banned, the babies don't have any use. So why not make a card that allows you to still play them? Keep in mind that this card is made for a format where the big ones aren't around, only the small ones, so don't take into account what would happen if they were unbanned again, if they ever get unbanned again. Because, you know, as we know, I mean, Necros, they are, they're a strong deck, but in my opinion, I still think Dragon Rose are the strongest deck of Yu-Gi-Oh! And uh, they are rightfully banned, right where they belong. Full power Dragon Rose, be damned. Anyway, today we are looking at a card, and you can clearly see this is bound Bounded, bounded dragon roller. It is is the dragon is all chained up and they all, that's just how the dragon was out. They were they were sitting in prison just chilling because they they've run their spot there. They definitely have. So uh, you know some people definitely would like the dragon rollers back. Me personally, I'm fine with them gone. You know I was never really a big fan of them to begin with, and you know as soon as I saw that uh that uh, I forgot what the name of the, that dark matter, I was like, mm, yeah, let's not. <laughs> all right, let's not send more dragons to the graveyard because that's all you need to do. Just send some dragons to the graveyard, and there we go. Dragon rulers are here to kick somebody again. So, Banded Dragon Ruler is a level 7 dark dragon effect monster. Zero attack, but 2500 deep. So, as the effect reads, you can discard this card, and one other dragon ruler monster, i.e. being the baby dragon ruler monsters, to special summon two level 4 or lower dragon type monsters with different attributes from your deck in defense position but their levels become seven their effects are negated and they are destroyed during the end phase so essentially you go ahead and pitch this and another dragon ruler one of the babies to go ahead and summon well they didn't specify it just says literally special summon two level four or lower dragon type monsters so it could be even eclipse wyverns like oh my god you know uh and of course the eclipse wyvern of course goes off in the graveyard but uh well, let's just go ahead and assume that you're going to go ahead and summon two different uh, baby dragon rulers uh, with that different attributes, so whatever you want in defense position, and their levels become seven, and their effects are negated and destroyed during the end phase. So essentially, this card is saying, hey, you might want to go ahead and exceed those um, dragons into something, because they're going to get destroyed, so you might as well do something with them, right? Uh, my biggest problem with this is that the rank seven pool is not the best. Uh, it used to be very powerful back in the day, you know, back when Dragon Rulers were in their prime, and, you know, we had, you know, Draco Sight kicking that butt, and Big Eye being, you know, almost band worthy. But now, this day and age, I mean, the most hype rank 7 that we're looking at is that damn flare that everybody keeps pulling out of freaking Clash Rebellion. Like, uh, uh, what is up with that card? Like, why is it so easy to pull that card? Everybody in the mother has a card. But, yeah, it's literally flare. Draco Sack, or Big Eye. I mean, there's really not much to work with. I mean, we got like Master Blade, but I mean, come on now. Come on now. It's probably going to be one of those three. And, you know, this card that's just, uh, I feel kind of uh, attributes to one of the weaker things about Dragon Ruler. Like, you know, the fact that just Dragon Ruler just fill up the graveyard and, you know, the baby rulers allow you to go ahead and draw with the Super Jew, it, it may, and it just, you know, out, you outpace your. Your opponent out resource them and just the fact that you can just go ahead and banish dragons from your grave to go ahead and summon these powerful dragons that and you know take advantage of that return from different dimension and that skill drain etc etc uh this made them just very powerful but the fact that i mean they could have access to rank sevens i mean i guess i mean really when it came to the mirror match it was kind of dumb it's like whoever makes the big guy first loses because you know you make a big guy and you take my stuff but then i'm gonna make a big guy and take your big guy and then i mean your big guy to take back my stuff and I mean, like I said, this card's definitely based off of that, and just the fact that you kind of made the baby dragon rulers more into, like, a rank 7 deck, sort of, it's kind of meh, in my opinion, but it has more in effect, so, 
You cannot special summon other monsters during a turn you activate this effect except for Iron Earth. Like, okay, so there you go. There you go. I, 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 I apologize. I haven't read that before, but pretty much they want you to see. You know, they want you to go into a big eye, you know. And if this card, if you have this card and another Dragon Rule in your hand, then hey, that's an easy access to a big eye. Or a Draco Sack, even though, you know, you may be going against a rank 4 deck that might have an easy access to a Castell in like your day. So, mm. it has another hack, too. You can banish this card and one other Dragon Rule monster. You grab your to special summon one Dragon type from your hand, but its level becomes a 7. You can only use one of the effects of Bound Dragon Ruler once per turn and only once that turn. So you can't go ahead and use, the, uh, you know, pitch, summon the two monsters and go ahead and use that effect. So this other effect, the second effect, is kind of meh as well. I mean, dragons have really never had a, a really difficult time summoning out of summoning. But, I mean, if you want to, so. Banish this card and another Dragon Ruler monster from your graveyard, which, you know, uh, hopefully you went ahead and uh, use the first effect to go ahead and have a dragon roll in your graveyard. So especially some one dragon type monster from your hand. Whatever it is, as long as it can be special summoned, it's going to be special summoned. But it's all become seven, I guess maybe for future plays. I don't know. Like I said, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of this card. I'm not blown away by it. But uh, that's I mean it's the one way to go ahead and use the babies. But I don't think anybody really wants to do this because to make any use out of the baby, you have to have this card. If you don't have this card in your hand, then you're not really doing some babies. Your babies are pretty much just level, what, fours and threes with mediocre stats at, at most. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So uh, only one person commented. And they said, I honestly don't see how the baby rulers would have use again through this thing. I said... It, 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 even if you ran the maximum amount, even if you ran three, it would still, you would be running what? How many how many babies would you run? Because this card is useless without the babies, but then the babies are useless without this. So, you know, it'd be difficult to find a ratio that would be good to even pull this off. It's supposed to turn them into a rank seven engine. If so, it seems rather uh, effective since the thing can summon uh, them from the back. Okay, that's fine. Of course, the baby rollers will still will still never get their effects off again, you know? You know, as long as the real um, Dragon Rulers are banned, you know, the babies don't do anything, so, you know, if this is the only thing that the baby rulers are going to have for them, then I don't think, I mean, like I said, you're trying to make them their own little deck, and I just don't see the work and effort put into it. I mean, maybe if you created a couple of different of these Bound Dragon Rulers, instead of just one, maybe we could talk? You know, if it wasn't just one, it, just because the fact that it's just one, and the baby rulers can't do anything, and this card can't do anything without the baby rulers. You know, I just don't see it. And of course, you said that this card was made uh, for when the big dragon rulers aren't around. But it's just inconsistent and not worth the time, right? You can do a lot of other decks that pull off the ranks of an engine much better than trying to do stuff with this. So, there you go. So tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. So, Teller Knights, I mean, I feel like creating like a Teller Knight card after they tear up Teller Knights' butts, but hopefully they won't get hit as hard as Dragon Rulers. But we'll find out soon. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and see you guys next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. Alright, people, thanks for watching.